I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. The first case of novel coronavirus in New York City is a Manhattan woman in her 30s who recently traveled to Iran. And at the beginning of March, an outbreak at the Westchester Synagogue in New Rochelle. New York was the epicenter of COVID's assault on America. The city began shutting down. We needed to take these very radical steps right now. We're taking them instantly. There's definitely more coming. It's the fear of actually catching the coronavirus. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Hospitals were filling up, people were dying, no proven effective treatments. Ventilators, gowns, and masks in short supply. We're here in the community fighting for the Bronx every day, and uh, we, we need some help. By early April, New York City had more than 72,000 COVID cases and almost 2,500 dead. Many died without being able to see loved ones for the last time. Black and Hispanic communities especially hit hard. We still have a lot, long way to go and a lot of work to do. And this virus has been a, ahead of us every step of the way. The state required nursing homes to take back people recovering from COVID. Later, the governor would be accused of doctoring the numbers to undercount the nursing home carnage. It's a disgrace. She couldn't even die. I see bodies being carried out all day long, nonstop. By the end of April, more than 17,000 dead in the city and a gruesome discovery at a Flatlands Brooklyn funeral home. Dozens of bodies which began to decay in unrefrigerated U-Haul trucks. COVID peaked here in April. With shocking disaster and death all around, people wanted to believe Dr. Fauci. The mitigation is actually working and will work. Our area slowly started to come back. But there were many cases of people ignoring safety protocols, even when fines were implemented. Neighbors called the atmosphere here in Seaside Heights crazy. When you act like a knucklehead, you show your true self. You prove that you only care about yourself. Then a big issue, what to do about school. New York and New Jersey offered remote learning. The city fought with unions over reopening protocols. We need them to be back where loving, caring adults, trained professionals are there to support them. Shortly after Election Day came word that vaccines were ready. First Pfizer's, then Moderna's, and then J&J's. I feel hopeful today, I'm relieved. I feel like healing is coming. Long Island nurse Sandra Lindsay got the first injection in our area. Despite distribution problems, now more than 31 million Americans are vaccinated, more than 12% of all adults. But we face virus mutations that may affect vaccination effectiveness. Still, there is hope we'll soon see scenes like this again and events that right now look like something that happened in another world. This was just a year ago, March 10th, 2020, the last normal sold out event at Madison Square Garden. It's not over, but we're getting there. I know the pace is challenging. This is a war we can't let up. All right, so let's talk about where we are today. President Biden says everyone who wants a vaccination should have access by the end of May. Meanwhile, there are now a few drugs that can limit how badly COVID affects people, but the numbers still hit us very hard. In the U.S., there are more than 29 million cases, uh, 29 million 529 deaths. In uh, New York State, there are 1.7 million cases, and the state is reporting 39,000 deaths. But other sources say that total is significantly higher. And in in New York, in New Jersey, more than 732,000 people have tested positive, 21,000 have died.